So, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for coming in. I'll make a short statement first. At about 8 p.m. yesterday, police were conducting speed detection duties on Sturton Road, Edinburgh, when we detected a vehicle travelling at a speed of 180 kilometres per hour in a 50 kilometre hour speed zone. A 20-year-old male from Salisbury was reported for driving at speed dangerous and other traffic-related offences. His car was impounded for 28 days and he'll be summoned to appear in a, in a court at a later date. Now, why would someone make a choice of travelling at a speed over 130 k's per hour in the built-up area? That's beyond my understanding. There's no reason whatsoever to engage in this kind of behaviour. It is just stupidity, irresponsible and outright dangerous. We have lost 25 lives on road this year as compared to 16 last year and we all and we all seek answers as to why it is because of the behavior of people like this who engage in dangerous activity and dangerous decisions that we are suffering my message to the road users our roads are not a racetrack even if the traffic is light and you think you can go faster look at the things around you there are trees there are poles they are not made to race around. A momentary lo loss of control will be catastrophic, not only to yourself, your family, but also to the community. So think about your decisions when you drive on road. I open to the floor to take any questions. Inspector, given the, the most recent fatality, the poor woman dying in hospital the other night after that crash, I mean, how much more reckless does this appear, our road toll, nine more than it was this time a year ago? Now this is, this is a difficult question and as we started, I'll, this is my third or fourth interview in front of the TV. We come here, we make the same announcement and ask community to get on board with us and make some wise decisions. It's just not sinking in. Um, we just don't know what else to do from here besides pleading the community to make right choices on road. Um, it is saddening, it is frustrating. We, we feel for the families that are suffering. There are innocent road users who are out there who are just driving, going about their business. I have family, they drive out there. So it gets me worried. How do police feel about this bloke as well? He's on a provisional licence um, and he, we have late charges. Uh, he's definitely an in inexperienced driver. So um, he'll be going to court and answering to the magistrate. But it just goes to show that whether experienced driver or inexperienced, uh, the risks are still the same for everyone. And what do you hope that the courts will do with this, this young man? Do you expect them to make an example of the, the probationary driver? Um, how many years do you hope he's not going to be on the road? Oh, look, I hope is a different thing. There's legislation that we have to abide by. So I'll have to leave it up to the courts to make a sound decision in this case. Do police believe the current legislation is tough enough? We work within the legislation and we work very closely with the court um, and also with the uh, Department of Transport to review any legislation, legislation and with any reforms. So, um, oh, and we'll keep contributing towards it. The van is presumably in the maximum threshold, though, in terms of um, fines and expiations and uh, licence loss? Yes, for this, for this person, uh, he's, uh, he's going to the court for speed dangerous. So a speed dangerous carries a significant penalty as far as licence loss is concerned as well. Uh, able to consider the 180 factor as well in, in making adjustment as to how this should be dealt with? When you say, so, sorry. Uh, the judge will sit the manager will sit there. Well, this is already answered. Is there, you can't answer that. It's up to the court. All right. So yeah. There's no, no, there's no we, thresholds for the magistrate to work with. Uh, it's just to make the judgment. Oh, so there's, there's maximum. Yeah. What's, what is the maximum? So he'd be up to the maximum, presumably. Oh, I, don't, I don't have the law in front of me, but I know that uh, speed dangerous carries. Um, um, a loss of licence for, for 12 months. What so if convicted, yeah. Sorry. What do you make of the um, young boy who was allegedly behind the wheels been boasting on social media? I'm, I'm not yeah. aware if he's boasting on social media about this. Yeah, about his behaviour. Like, um, you know, he was stopped by police and he got in his way pretty much. Yeah, look, um, if, if, if the members of public, if community is reading it, I'll, I'll leave it up to the community to make a decision about this boy. Um, as to what they think of him. Um, I can't describe in words how we feel after all the efforts we are making to, uh, to enforce safety 
and to reduce trauma on road. Um, and if he is boasting on social media about being sp uh, stopped by police and then losing his uh, losing his car last night, well, I'll let the community make the decision. Are you shocked that no one was killed? Like that? Of course, yeah. See, we keep saying that for every five kilometer increase in speed in a 60k zone, the risk of crash doubles. And he's traveling at 130 k's over the speed limit. So you can only imagine how fast he was going. And if there was a car to come around the corner thinking, yeah, there's nothing we can clear, and all of a sudden this guy pulls up in front, it, it's going to be catastrophic. And do, do you think he is such a young boy, if he does think this is funny, what more can he do to try and deter someone like that? Well, what, what, what more can police do? Look, what we do, I can tell you what we do right now. We are very proactive um, in, um, in enforcing the, the speeds and enforcing road laws. Uh, we are very proactive in educating um, the school, school children and also uh, the newly, the, the kids who have recently got license. Uh, at the same time, what can we do in this particular case? He has to start making right choices and I hope he learns his lessons through court. Is it That's true. I mean, yeah, they, they always will be. They'll make poor choices, but they have to be responsible for their own actions. Should this bloke have a, his car crushed, like as a set of examples, they should take away his car? We have taken his car for 28 days, and uh, crushing of the car, uh, or forfeiture of the car, it all depends on what um, a lot of other factors, and it'll be decided by the courts. As I can say, we can work within the legislation as, we, as it stands. The maximum impoundment could be for 28 days and we've got the car for 28 days. And with his like, boasting and carrying on, which maybe that's something police will look into in terms of like, dealing with this situation and go through, I don't know, if he's got prior history in driving videos or something as well. Um, it's, it's difficult to say without going into details of the matter and um, I haven't looked, in, looked into social media yet so it's very difficult to make that comment without actually knowing what's been boasted and what's, what his history is. Last question, Tim. Okay, thank you. Just the weekend again, you want to reiterate the message over just even though it's not a long weekend or anything but I guess it's just an important time for people doing different things to think about their safety. Exactly. Look, I can keep saying the same thing and ultimately it's up to the community to come on board and make those, make those wise choices. And I'm actually taken aback by what's been brought to my attention about social media. So obviously that, that message hasn't sunk in uh, with this kid. Just with, on, on that, would you like people to come forward if they're aware of people either boasting on social media or even see people hooting? Do you want people to get in touch with police in, in either of those types of scenarios? Oh, definitely. Uh, if someone, if people are ho hooning around and you've got uh, critical information for police, uh, ring us on Crime Stoppers, 1800 uh, you can ring one through one triple four, or you can lodge a traffic watch complaint. So we'll chase, we'll follow that up. What's your reaction to him saying next time I'll take that verdict you? I haven't read that, so what can I say? That's a social media comment. I can't I can't make a comment on everything that's posted on social media. Do you have grave concerns about what his if if the book isn't thrown at him about what his future conduct is going to be when he has such a blatant disregard for the law? Uh, look, uh, as I said, we can't comment on what court's decision will be, so it's very difficult to make those comments in future. But the fact that he's been bragging about his conduct when he's been stopped by police is obviously not, that hasn't phased him whatsoever. Uh, look, we have responsibility towards the community, so do parents. He's a 20-year-old, and I hope his parents are looking at this, and they're looking at his social, re social media comments, his friends around him. They're going to get around him and, and show him the, the right path as well. So it's just not our responsibility. Everyone has to get on board with this. And with the car, is it, there's an opportunity to go and film the car where it's being held at the moment? Um, no. The, no? It's, there's no. Yeah. There's no option. Oh, not an option. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.